Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from newcoder.com. And in this tutorial, we are gonna be talking about the different ways we go about styling our components with CSS. All right, so to get started, I just have two components, our main component, which is app, then I have an example component, and we are rendering the example component within the app component. So now let's start off with inline styling. And in order to do this, what we can do is come down here and we could pass a prop called style. And style is going to take in a JavaScript object. So what we can do is we could come up here and I could just say, and I could just say const example style, and we'll set that to an object. Now this is where we put our CSS properties. Now there is one caveat, you have to camo case. So for example, let's say I have a CSS property of font style, like so. This would get converted into font style. And then from here, what you could do is pass in a string of what you want to set it to. So let's set the text to italic and let's get rid of font style here. And let's give a couple more properties. So font size would be converted into font size. And let us set this to hundred pixels. And likewise, background color would be set to background color like so and let's go ahead and go with yellow okay so now that we created this object all we need to do is pass it to the style prop so i'm gonna go ahead and copy this let's paste this in here let's go ahead and save and let's take a look at the outcome so here you go now if I open up the developer tools, so let's hit F12. Let us actually just inspect this. And you can see that we have our H1 tag with the style attribute and it gets converted into the CSS properties. So you notice font style is set to italic, font size, 100 pixels, background color of yellow, All right? So everything's working according to plan. So that's inline CSS styling. You can also, if you don't want to create an object and then put it here, you can just insert it directly. So I'm just going to say, let's just do font style and we'll just do italic only. Okay, because I don't want to copy everything. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's bring this back here. You see, it's just italic. So just italic. So now that's pretty much all there is to it when it comes to inline styling. All right, so now let us move on to CSS classes. So let us go ahead and create a new H1 tag. And in HTML, you would use an attribute called class. But since JSX ultimately gets converted into JavaScript, so you can see that because we're using class up here, in React, you have to do class name, okay? Now what we need to do is let's go ahead and I'm just gonna hit Control B and we're gonna go to the source directory, new folder, and make a CSS folder. And let us go ahead and create a new file called example.css, okay? So this is where we're gonna put our classes at. So I'm just gonna create two classes. And you would do this exactly the way you would in a normal CSS file. And let's just create another class. We could put this all in one class, but I just want to show you that you can use multiple classes. So now let's just go ahead and save this. Let us head back to our app.js file. And first thing we need to do is tell our program where we have our CSS at. So let's come up here. We're gonna have to import. So we'll just say import, and we need to go in the CSS folder and we called it example.css. So now all we need to do 
is put those classes within our class name prop. So I could just copy this. Let's paste it in here. And if we want to use another class, we just separate it with a space. And we could copy and paste that within here. Okay, so let's say, since we're running out of room, let's give us some space. And we'll just say, example using classes. So let's save this, take a look at the browser, and there you go. So let us take a look at what's happening. So we have our second H1 tag. You see that that class name gets converted into class. You can see the two classes we told it to use and it's working perfectly fine. So now let's move on to the final method. And the final method is called CSS modules. So let's go ahead and go back to our CSS folder, create a new file. And first is the name that you want to call it. So we're just going to call it example followed by module and then the extension. So dot CSS. Now within here, let's define two classes. So I'll just say dot error. And we'll set that to a red. And let's create success. And we'll set this to a green. Okay, so let's just save this. And now if we go back to our app.js folder, like our other external CSS file, we're going to have to import this. So I'm just going to say import styles from and then the folder, which is CSS. And we called it example dot module dot CSS. OK, so from here, let us go ahead and create another H1 tag. And like our previous example, we're going to use class name. And we will just use what we just created. So we called it styles. We're going to come down and bring it here. And let's say we use the success class that we defined. So it should look like it is green. So we will say something like example with CSS modules. Let's go ahead and save this. Let us bring this here. And there you go. You see that we get our H1 tag. And this time you see that it is the name of the file that we created. We called it example.module. So that's the first part is example, followed by the class that we're using. And then it generates like a special, I guess you would call it a hash to make sure that this is unique so that you don't get any name conflicts. So that is pretty much the difference between using a CSS module and just using an external CSS style sheet is that pretty much you're not going to get any name conflicts by using CSS modules. So let us have some fun. Let's do some conditional rendering. So let's say that from our app component, let's go ahead and pass down a prop. So I'm just going to hit control B and get rid of the Explorer. And the prop is is error. So if something wrong happened, then I want you to render it using a certain style. So we'll set this to true. There is an error. OK, so now from here, we go down to our functional component. Let us do some destructuring. So let us instead of just having props here, let's pull out is error from the props object. And let us create a function. So we'll just call this function generate CSS. And this is just going to return a style that we should render out. So based on is error prop, if there is an error, what we're going to do is return the styles dot error class. Otherwise, we're going to return styles dot success. So let's go ahead and save this. 
And actually, before we save this, let's actually call it. So instead of just hard coding style success like that, we can invoke generate CSS. Let's call it. Go ahead and save it. And you can see that we get example with CSS modules and it is using the error class. So that is pretty much all that I wanted to cover within this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in the next one.